Before I get that wire wheel on there, first thing I'm going to do is tape up the half tear. I'm not knocking out the half to, uh, to clean up the head, so I want to protect it. It's the original handle. Definitely don't want to damage it. I'm really looking forward to cleaning off that rust and grime, but fingers crossed for finding some sort of stamp. Really hope I do. Shot chill. Cool little blade. Give you guys a good shot of the before. Before I start cleaning it up. First side cleaned up here, and uh, sadly no sign of the local or stamp. And this is the side that would most likely have it. So it could be on this side. We'll wait and see. But I'd say I'm getting closer to the idea of having to print a sticker. Just now covered that number three. She's all cleaned up. No stamp. So, that's too bad, but it's not a big deal. I'm never going to sell it, and I know what it is, so it's not a problem. Cleaned up real well. Not a lot of pitting at all. Overall, this axe head is in mint shape. The only stamp we got is that number three on the back, which I'm guessing means it's a three pound. Out that bevel. Look at that. That's awesome. Now I'm going to put an edge on her. Didn't want to break out the sander this time, and this edge is actually not that bad. So I'm going to use my just standard uh, mill bastard file here. It's a bi-directional one. So it cuts quite fast and I usually find that out. Refine it a little bit with uh, just a unidirectional one here. So I've been filing at this for quite some time now. This is just a rasp edge. That's it taking it uh, just with a rasp from the raw edge that I bought it with to this. I mean you could use this axe like this. That edge is just wiry sharp. It feels sharper than it will when it's polished because it just grabs your fingers. But I'm going to use that rooster method and, uh, and clean this up a little bit. There's that back prints head all cleaned up. New edge. Wow, that is sharp. When it's a good taper like that, just look at that bevel. It just takes a vicious edge. Just bite your fingers almost when you touch it. Real happy with it, although I didn't find a stamp, it's a little bit disappointing, but just tells me that uh, these axes were only done with the paper logos. So that's it for this video. I'm definitely going to paint this black, uh, this stripe through here. 
definitely going to refurbish the handle. And uh, as for the logo, that'll depend on if I ever really want to use this axe or not. If I do, I won't get a logo. So that's to the side. Let me know in the comment section what you think I should do with it. I don't have a big felling axe like this, so that's definitely nice. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's my well-unveiled black prints here, so I'll find. Come back for the next video.